Hi, I'm Margie Remers Davis with Crystal Clear Cashflow, creator of the fast and easy way to QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor Certification. Today we're going to be walking through one of our exercises from our basic level course, Section 1, Lesson 9, which is all about products and services. In this lesson, there are four exercises. Um, three of them are what I consider critical exercises. You absolutely have to know how to do this um, in order to be able to pass the test. One of them is an optional exercise. I've included it just for your edification um, so that you can learn the material. But let's go ahead and go ahead and get started in this lesson. Now, we're going to be talking about uh, adding a non-inventory product. Um, I find that products and services, at first I found them a little confusing because there are products and services that you buy and there are products and services that you sell. And whether you buy them or sell them, you have to have them both in the products and services list. So in the last exercise, we created a service that um, we sold to our customers. Now we're going to be um, adding something that we buy from a vendor. So um, let's take a look a little bit more closely at our scenario, which is Craig uses fertilizer in his business, but he does not resell it to customers. Add it to his products and services list so he can keep track of how much he purchases, all right? So the first thing we need to do is we're going to log into the sample company. So let me go ahead and do that. And this is a good time for me to stop and tell you that if you would like a copy of this exercise or you'd like to find out more about our courses, just click the links below. All right, so here we are in our um, sample company. And of course, if you don't know how to log into the sample company, you'll find that in the description as well. Um, and our first step is from the left navigation bar, we are going to, let me get on there, okay. The, the, uh, from the left navigation bar, what we're gonna do is select sales and go to products and services. All right, so here's my list of products and services. If you were with me in the last lesson, um, then you saw that we added this annual irrigation system. Now we're going to add um, something else. So our next step is in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click new, not the arrow next to it, but just the green, the new part of the button. And our next step is to click non inventory. So here we are. And this is very similar. So um, let's, at this point, we need to take a look at our, uh, a closer look at our exercise. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so in step five, we're gonna complete the products and services form as follows. So what we are buying is fertilizer. Uh, we're gonna uncheck, I sell this product or service to my customers because it's not something we sell. And because it's not something we sell, QuickBooks is gonna automatically say, oh, it must be something that you buy. We're gonna put in uh, the description and then we are going to put in the expense account, which is job materials. So let's hop back over to our sample company and let's put all of that in. So our name is Fertilizer. Um, apparently I don't know how to spell fertilizer. There we go. Um, all of this other stuff, we're just going to skip for now. Uh, I'm going to uncheck this box. So that set automatically brings this up that says purchasing information. I purchased this product or service from a vendor. Um, the description here is what's going to show up on the forms. I'm going to put in fertilizer for right now leave it blank if I wanted to. Um, and that is something that you can change when you are uh, doing an expense transaction. You can always change the description, make it more detailed for, you know, whatever you want. Um, we are leaving the cost blank because the cost varies. So um, if we put in a cost, then we could always change it again on the expense but we don't need to do, worry about that. Um, this expense account is very important. It's very important. This links to the chart of the account that's in the chart of accounts that's going to track how much we spent on this product. And so um, this is the expense 
account. It's already set up to be purchases. So all we need to do is click save and close. And then that is it for this exercise. If you found this video helpful, then please give us a like. If you would like to be notified every time we post a new video, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell. And of course, if you have any questions about this particular exercise, or if you would like to uh, ask any questions about our courses, just comment below. And that's it for now. I will see you next time.